<laughs> Hi. <laughs> I was a little bit late. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? Just getting everything together here. Um, actually, I'll wait on charging the phone. It's been charging all day. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up button. Hi, Risa. How's everybody doing? Hi, Donna. Ooh, Alaska. <laughs> Hi, Ms. J. Hola. Michelle, hello. Tansy. Ms. J, wait, you said you had a massage, right? Sandra. Hi, not me. Welcome. Hi, Janice. Hi, Larry. Or Lenny. Hi, Lenny from Amsterdam. Nice. Hi, R. William Smith. Hi, Paul from Ireland. Hi, Jan from Nebraska. Hi, Thomas from Texas. Hi, Victoria Joy. Hi, Karima from Atlanta. Hi, Kiki the Crocheter. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day to you, too. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of fun. So I'm making the cookies. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Madeline. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Olga. Hi, Dawn. <laughs> oh, she canceled the massage. Well, I'm happy you can join the live. Um, thanks for hitting that thumbs up button on your way in. Um, I have the tea ready to go and I have some cookies. So I kind of have, um, thank you, Diana. You said you love the videos. Hey, Scott. Hey, Kay. Scott, you're chilling in your car. Nice. Hi, Reverend Rashim. Happy Valentine's Day. Hi, Wendy Lindy. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> from Vancouver Island. Nice. Hi, Sherry Lynn from Grand Bend, Ontario. Nice. Yeah. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Donna. Hi, the Nats. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, she's very cute. We'll see how she does. So she's, um, hello, everybody. Um, Welcome, welcome to the chat. Thanks for um, hitting the thumbs up button on your way in. Um, yeah, welcome everybody. Um, she's hanging out in the crate. I just took her outside. So I was gonna go to a rest area to do the live and it didn't have the best Wi-Fi. So I'm a little like off schedule. Um, but I did just run around with her for a while and, um, but then she slept a little, we'll just see how, how this goes. So, um, <laughs> oh, Carolyn, welcome. Your first time live. Yeah. Um, hi Jane from Maine. Um, <laughs> hi Renee from Texas. Hi Scarlett. Hey Douglas. Happy Valentine's day, Douglas. Yeah. Um, so I'm cooking some cookies currently they're on the stove and um, I have some um, water ready to boil for some tea and um, it's it's uh, this teapot's cool because it's got it's not quite as shiny and pretty as it was when I first got it but it's well loved <laughs> and then it's got this strainer in it which is nice for like fresh berries and stuff um, oh Sheila well, that sounds like fun. You know, sometimes one ending is another beginning. So um, I wish you all the best, Sheila. Yeah. Um, and um, so they're getting a little wet, but this is all ready to go. This is just some English breakfast tea. And I don't know how the cookies are doing, but I took a peek at them a moment ago. Um, and this is... Um, yeah, happy Valentine's Day, Goth Angel. And Ruby, yeah. Deb, it's your first live event? Well, greetings. Greetings to you as well. Um, yeah, welcome everyone. And Ruby. happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Um, Ruby's up in the, there's a crate. I got a crate for her. She's in the passenger seat and then she has a very comfy dog bed that she, um, um, oh wow, the gnats. Oh, Donna Georgie. Thank you so much, Donna. I appreciate the, oh wow, Lin, Windy Lindy, thank you so much. Thank you, Donna, and thank you, Windy Lindy, Lindy. I feel honored. Thank you for the super chats. And Donna, it's the third live stream, it says. That's great, wonderful. I appreciate that, thank you. 
Um, and then Nats123 said, I had the most horrible couple weeks ever. I got burnt all over my chest. So been catching up on your videos and seeing Ruby cheered me up. I'm really glad that, that she could cheer you up. Um, and I'm sorry to hear about the burns on your chest. That sounds painful. Um, speaking of, I think I might go get her. I'm gonna turn the stove off. Um, the little kettle is from Ross. Yep. Hi, Amanda. Um, yeah, I'll show her because I hear her. So I'm going to turn the stove off. I'll show you guys quickly before I do that what I have going on on the stove here. These are the cookies. So I decided to use this. Usually I use foil, but I was like, wait, this fits perfectly. So I have, I'm just turned that off and I'll let that bake see the flame flickered. Um, this kind of creates a little bit of an oven for my cookies, although I will be getting um, a, an oven that goes over the stove um, pretty soon. And so those are some cookies there. And oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to wait because if she's going to chill for a little bit, that'll give us a chance to chat. And um, then when she gets up, I'll, I'll get her out. Um, I'm going to get the tea going too. Has everybody been having a good day? Whatever they're doing. Let's see how this held up. This was nice. So my tea kettle was from Ross. This was also from Ross. I do like Ross for like home homewares and stuff like that. If I know something specifically that I'm looking for. Happy Valentine's Day to you too. Mm. I like the little cookie bits. And I've never tried these. These are gluten-free um, sugar cookies. Drop NYC, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, Lori said you had a fair day. Yeah, and Ms. J, you were, work was blah, but still going dancing later. Nice. <laughs> you always have fun stuff going on. That's fun. Um, yeah. And then there was a question here. What part of Cali are you in now? I'm, I'm actually in a new state, um, which I'm not going to share yet, but you guys will see in the next video where I am. <laughs> a surprise. You know, I like to keep the surprises coming a little bit. So my thought has, have you guys ever, um, oh, thank you. Drop in my seat. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's a cute emoji too. I, I like that. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. Um, Karima had a quiet day and you're going to look for that tea kettle. Yeah, it was a while ago, so I'm not sure if they still have them, but um, I would just keep looking, you know, how sometimes they have stuff and then it's hard to find and then um, it'll come back around again. Oh, thank you, Rhonda. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. The puppy treat. You shall love that. Yeah, she's chilling right now. She's such a good puppy. She really is. She's like, and she's young, but she's uh, alert and, and pretty, pretty bright. Um, Wiggy, it says you've been lazy today, practicing avoidance instead of cleaning the house. Well, <laughs> you know, I think that it's important sometimes to have some, some downtime. Scarlett said, is that a wood slab over um, my pot? Yeah, well, it's a cutting board. So I have the it is. It's like if this is my cutting board that I use, and it's um, it's got like this stuff on it. Um, so yeah, it can hold the heat. I just can't like get it in the flame. But I had the stove on super low. Um, happy Valentine's Day, Amanda. Drop NYC. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. You're just coming through. <laughs> Drop in the super chats. Drop NYC. I appreciate that. Um, do I have ventilation for my stove? I keep my sunroof cracked at all times, um, so I do have ventilation. And Stephanie says, do you follow the weather? I do mostly. Um, sometimes the weather can be unpredictable, so it's hard to always, like, know. Um, and, like, that storm in Florida, a couple people commented, like, why didn't you just move out of the way? It was a whole line, and if you know, like, Florida geography, like, this, I would have had to drive through the storm to get out of the way of the storm, so it didn't make sense to, like, try to, like, it went all the way across Florida and then Georgia and, like, yeah, so, um, and the Carolinas. Um, so, yeah, I do follow the weather, but sometimes the weather's unpredictable. And um, so, yeah, I, I have mentioned to my son's birthdays in 
um, March and I would like to spend a little bit of time with him around his birthday. So um, that's not where really weather, that's more just like something. Um, oh, you love the wood slab? Good. Hi, j -Ro. Um Yes, Ruby will definitely be keeping me on my toes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like having a newborn baby <laughs> but it's fun and she's she's a good dog so so far so good we're we're getting in a good rhythm you'll be back soon liz okay um a kiss a day hi roan i love your videos i watch from england nice what time is it now in england it must be like i don't know with the time change is it late thanks for joining us um, one at 15 a.m. and I can't sleep. What a surprise you were live. Well, good. Um, uh, I don't know how to say your name. P p p plegi, 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 plegi. I hope I'm saying it right. Have a good Valentine's Day. Greetings from uh, Miriam in the Netherlands. Well, greetings to you as well. Um, Scott. Hi, Scott. Awesome day with DoorDash. Okay, cool. Yeah, DoorDash. Yep. Um, I saw it was really busy earlier. I didn't have a chance to DoorDash today, but I did see that it was really busy. I did a little bit of travel and then I got ready for these cookies that I'm making. And then, um, I took Ruby out for a little bit. Oh, thank you. Drop in my seat. He'll drop something to the cash up. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, the, the, um, I appreciate that. Oh, your name is Elizabeth. A kiss a day. Well, hi, Elizabeth. <laughs> Do I cover my sunroof with a screen when it's open? I don't, and it's not cracked too much. It's just a little bit. There's some wires that go through that attach to the solar panel on the roof. Um, so it's not a huge gap, and I've never had an issue with rain coming in or bugs or anything. Um, so, yeah, I might though. I, I think it'd be kind of neat to have it. I've seen like these magnets where you put like a mesh screen over. Um, so that I could have it all the way open during the summer, uh, like when it's warmer, and then have that mesh thing over it. So I might look into that. Um, hi, from Florida, the, the Knit and Honey. Am I saying that right? The Knit and Honey? <laughs> um, oh, Stephanie, you're, you're saying uh, you meant, is that where you decide to stay by following the weather? Um, kind of, yeah. Yep. And sometimes like I like the ukulele, I was like, okay, I, I want to <laughs> that's the price range I'm looking for. Let's go to LA. So sometimes it's also just kind of like a whim or like Tennessee, I wanted to look at the tiny houses at the incredible tiny homes place there. So it's just I wouldn't say it's one particular reason which kind of has me moving around and I think that's the beauty of um a more na nomadic lifestyle is that I can kind of go with the flow, I guess. Um, yeah. Oh, hi, road trips with Yogi. Hello, Rowan and Ruby. Hope you're doing well. Thank you. I hope you're doing well as well. Um, you heard in NYC their DoorDash is on strike alone. Yeah, so I heard, I have heard that, that some people are doing a strike um, about wages. So I don't really get into the politics. Some people really get into the politics of DoorDash and, um, I'm going to put the water on to boil because I think the tea would be good. Yeah, some people get really into the, the politics of DoorDash and like the pay and whether or not people tip and and all that. I, I don't I don't I don't really get into that stuff. It's more like I have a choice if I want to dash or not or do Uber Eats or not. And I have a choice if I want to accept the order or not. And that's enough for me. So I did hear that there were some people on strike, but that's not, I didn't, and I didn't DoorDash today, but it wasn't, a, it wasn't, there was no political motivation behind it. Um, I think I missed a couple super chats. I saw one just pop up. Um, I'm trying to keep up guys. <laughs> yes, Dan and Sharon. Thank you. Dan and Sharon Ertz, thank you so much. And I like the, um, <laughs> I like the, um, a console. Is that what that thing is called? A game console? Like, let me turn these on. That's kind of fun. Um, <laughs> the, um, like a video game. I don't know. I'm not up on my video game knowledge, but, um, 
And Sherry Lynn Keller, thank you so much. Thank you. And it's your first super chat on a live stream. I appreciate that and I feel honored. Thank you. Um, I'm, ha I'm, um, <laughs> I'm really apologize if I'm missing some of the comments. I'm just kind of scrolling through and I think that I'm missing some. I'm trying to, um, trying to keep up, but um, keep putting it in there and I'll get to it if, um, if I miss your question. I see um, mashed potato Lee. <laughs> mashed potato Lee. How do I decide what to eat? Do I plan ahead or play by ear depending on what you have? I kind of play by ear and I kind of, um, oh yeah, I was gonna start the water. I play by ear and um, I also um, go off of like what, what um, I'm craving when I can. And then there's times where it's kind of just like what I have available. Um, so yeah, it's a little of both. So, and I, if I, I don't have a cool, I have a cooler, but I don't have a refrigerator. So I have a cooler and then I can get ice for my cooler. Um, but, or I usually get like frozen vegetables, but that doesn't last very long. So, um, I need to, uh, Oh, I pronounced your name right, mashed potato -y. Hi, Sage. Yay, welcome. I'm glad you made it. <laughs> um, so, uh, oh, thank you, Rhonda. Yeah, I'm feeling a little flustered, I think, because I did a lot of travel today and then I was off. I usually try to give myself a good 20 minutes before the live and I kind of like pulled up, found some good reception and took Ruby out real quick and and um, I'm feeling a little flustered and then the tea and cookies I didn't get quite as elaborate as I was hoping so I don't feel like I've quite caught up to myself um, but thank you guys for understanding um, thank you Kay you said I'm doing a great job um, um, but yeah so food uh, it's, I just kind of go to the grocery store and I know if it's something perishable, like cheese will last for a little while. Like I still have that Parmesan cheese and I just have it in a drawer. And I know that that will probably, Parmesan can keep a little bit. It's, um, I don't know. It, it, uh, oh, wow. Thank you, j -Ro. I appreciate the super chat. And it's your first super chat on a live stream. Thank you. I feel honored for that. And this comment here, it says, I have a very soothing voice. Stay blessed always. Thank you. <laughs> How about now? I feel like I'm a little shaky. Is it still soothing? I hope so. <laughs> um, Precious Ruby is the best Valentine. She really is. She's going to wake up in a little bit and she'll, um, yeah, she's just, she's knocked out. Um, Oh, you're welcome for answering your questions. Yeah, um, sorry, I could go in, I could really get into like the food and maybe that's a good thing to cover in the Q&A or even do like a video about it because that's taken me a while. I will say that fresh produce um, is something that I have to remind myself. Thank you, Ms. J. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. It said for you and cutest Valentine ever, Ruby. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, Soul Race, yeah, happy Valentine's Day to you too. And I am feeling better. Not 100%, but I'd say 97% better. Uh, I still have a little congestion, but... Um, oh, well, you have a wonderful night as well, Drop NYC. Um, you send an email with strawberry things in it? Nice. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, good, Leanne. You said I get you get excited when I go live. Good, I'm glad. Yeah, it's fun to hang out with you guys. Um, okay, mashed potato. Lee, uh, you'd love a video on food. Yeah. Um, if I'm looking for topics, so I'm gonna screenshot that so I can remember. Um, and then also, if if well, if you get a chance uh, or somebody is able to go into the community post and under the Q and A. Um, maybe put it there as well. That's that way I have my screenshot, um, to help remind me. And then also in the, in the Q and A of the community post, um, if you go into the community tab and there's, um, it might be like three or four down the, the post. Um, um, 
I just saw cupcakes as I'm scrolling through. <laughs> JC Colin, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. It says coffee, Rowan treats. <laughs> and Ruby, thank you. <laughs> yeah, coffee is a Rowan treat. <laughs> Um, what breed is Ruby? She's um, a lab and healer mix. And I think there's some other things in there, but that's kind of what the predominant, um, the, the dad is mostly lab and the mom is mostly healer, but I'm not sure. Um, random question. Do I have any back issues or soreness? You're a tall girl and you'd like, yeah. Um, so my lower back, but that's more from driving because I've done a lot of, um, driving and DoorDash lately. So it's been a lot of time driving and I've noticed that my lower back from the driving, um, this, I do crouch like the, like this a little bit, but not, not too bad. And I kind of, so no, other than I think just the general wear and tear on my lower back from driving so much, I was thinking about it. I was like, Ooh, I was feeling for truckers the other day. I was like, yeah, I, I wonder if that's an issue. So, but I think that exercise and getting out and walking and stretching and stuff like that can help, um, can help with that, help both preventatively and then also with a sore back, it can help alleviate. Um, and uh, that's something that Ruby will help me with, getting out and exercising more. Already today, we went kind of like running a little bit. It was really fun. <laughs> um, Let's see, what type of tea do I drink? It's all different, all different kinds. Um, um, did I miss a super chat? I think I got, okay. Um, you're watching while playing bingo, nice. Well, good luck with bingo. I haven't played bingo in like a really long time. I don't know if, I can't even remember, but that sounds kind of fun. Um, oh, thank you, Kate. KJ, hello from Australia. You're so joyful. Love all you post. Thank you. Um, I appreciate that. Um, I hope you visit West Virginia soon. There's a lot to do. Yeah, I would like to travel around again and I've talked about maybe doing meetups this time, um, like state meetups and um, I'm trying to see if the tea water is boiling. Um, yeah. Oh, thank you, um, Mashed Potato Lee. I think you just posted, I saw a comment post um, something about food. So thank you. I think you just went into the community uh, tab and posted on the Q&A thing. So thank you. And now I'll definitely address it in the um, video that I'll do. Um, so yeah, tea. Right now I'm gonna have some English breakfast tea, but I, I have all different kinds of teas. I love herbal teas, um, like for, for medicinal herbs. I think the last time I was live or one of the recent lives, I did a hawthorn and elderberry and I simmered it for a while. Um, and um, I, I have some green tea. I got into green tea for a little while and I have all this green tea, but now I'm not drinking it so much. And I love ginger tea, um, chai tea, those warming spices, especially in the fall and um, in the winter, if I'm in a cold climate, um, chai tea with those those cinnamon and ginger and pepper and they're kind of warming circulatory spices. Um, um, oh, thanks Sage. I'm glad you made it too. <laughs> Come to Michigan in the summer, it's beautiful. I would love to, yeah, I would love to. I don't really, I don't have it mapped out yet, but I might might be in Michigan this summer. I'm not sure. And I don't know when I would feel like starting the meetups. So, um, I don't, I, but that's down the road. So I don't have an exact timeline and, uh, or, or itinerary or, or a, a route, but, um, yeah, I think Michigan in the summer would be really cool to see. Um, Oh, been there, done that. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> um, thank you. Oh, and it's your first super on a live stream. Well, thank you. I feel honored for that. Um, and it, let's see if I can read this here. On my channel, I have a video of our building in Beaver, Washington. We are currently um, entry here in our motor home, getting the businesses ready to open. We have plenty of room for you and showers. Thank you. We love you. Okay, thank you. 
Um, Beaver, Washington. What part of Washington is that? If you don't mind saying, or um, if you want to um, email and uh, yeah, because I I'm pretty familiar with Washington. That's kind of home base. Um, yeah, and I I I would love to. Um, I don't know, build connections in Washington. I would love to someday maybe have land in Washington or Oregon. I'm not sure, um, but yeah, that's awesome. Thank you for the invitation. And I would love to talk more at some point um, about that. Does Ruby sleep with me at night? She does. Yep, we cuddle. <laughs> She's great. And I think that like her heartbeat or my heartbeat is soothing to her. Um, yeah, and she'll like, lick my face she chews on me <laughs> that's the it's it doesn't bother me but it's like urgh, i'm a little grumpy in the morning <laughs> but it's like a like i love it and i'm also like i take the blanket and put it over my face um but i let her chew on my hand which is probably not a great thing i should probably get her um out of the habit of chewing on my fingers but yeah she does she sleeps with me Hi, Ellie. Did I get your name? Crazy Callie Prepper. You're Ellie, right? Because I remember you're always like, Ellie here. And I I was like, I, I think, um, hello. <laughs> Let me know if I got it right. Um, any plans to come to Pennsylvania an hour from Pittsburgh? Yeah, I would love to. I'd love to go all over the country, kind of like I did, but maybe even like more zigzagging. Um, finally made it to a live. Hi, Amy. I'm glad you made it. You're on vacation in France. You're a Texas gal. Nice. Um, hi, Eileen. Um, come to Texas again. Yeah, I have to... Um, um, oh, I'm, oh, Eva, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you. And I'm honored. That's your first super chat on a live stream. And Valerie Weatherby. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the super chat. Um, that's a very generous super chat. Um, thank you. I appreciate that a lot. Um, um, yeah, thank you. Marsha Carr, um, you're glad I got a puppy. Yeah, she, we keep each other company and I think that um, she'll, we, she'll watch my back and I'll kind of watch, you know, like it's, um, we'll look out for each other. I think it'll be good. I think, um, She's companionship, and also I think there's a level of safety um, in in having a dog. That okay? So I have my cat. A couple of people have asked about my cat. My cat. I'm not. I'm not letting go of my cat. My cat has been with my son. So um, my son was 16 when I got my cat. We had an apartment that we rented until my son graduated high school. I didn't want to like live in move into my van while he was still finishing high school so i door dashed and i rented the apartment and then um when he graduated high school he has his own place now and he has my cat i haven't like dropped my cat <laughs> i just wanted to say this because like a few people had commented um i would love to travel with my cat at some point but when i did go camping with her it was challenging and i felt like as much as she loved being with me, it was a little stressful for her and for me. And I realized that if in order to make it work, I would have had to get her a harness and a leash. Um, and that that would take a while to train and like it could take some months and I was ready to hit the road. So um, I, did, I do have Ruby now and I do plan on at some point traveling with my cat as well, but she's safe where she is. She's familiar with my son um, and my son has a dog that is five and she knows that dog. And um, so yeah, I, I down the road, if I had a larger vehicle perhaps, or when I have land in a tiny home, I would love for my cat to come live with me. So I just wanted to say that I love Meowsers and I'm not letting go of her, but she's really safe and comfortable where she is. So yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lori. Yeah. Some pets don't adjust. True love. You have to put the kitty first. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I really would love to have her with me, but um, I, in this vehicle, I just didn't see how it would work. Um, whereas Ruby, I feel like even though as she gets bigger, it might be a little tricky. Um, I spend a lot of time outside of my car. 
Um, I, I, you know, unless it's like raining or super cold out, um, I use my car for cooking and for sleeping and for like relaxing. Um, but a lot of the time I'm outside. And so that'll be great for a dog, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm missing some comments here, but what's the worst thing I've ever made? Um, okay, I made something recently and I filmed it. Okay, so actually it was going to be in the last video. It was, it wasn't, it didn't turn out very well. It wasn't the worst thing. I'd have to think about that. Um, I think, um, thank you. And you said I'm creative. I think I, I love food so much. If something doesn't turn out, I just like kind of block it. <laughs> but I tried to make pancakes using some strawberry applesauce and they didn't they turned into mush and i think it's because i had this can of peaches so i used my pancake mix and i put some strawberry applesauce like a little cup and then i added the canned peaches and i drank the like juice they were in but i don't think i drank all of it so that the pancake mix was kind of runny like i mixed it to the right consistency and then added the peaches but they were still juice so i think that the pancake batter was like a little gooey and um and then you know how I cook it with like the foil over it and stuff I was trying to make like a cake or like a cobbler and I was filming it and then I, and then it never like fully cooked and I went to try to flip it like I cut it in four pieces and I was like well I'll flip each piece and it just all turned into this big mush <laughs> and I stopped filming I was like this is this is so unappetizing <laughs> Um, but it was while we were, Ruby and I were hanging out in, over that, um, that cliff and with the view of the ocean, um, uh, is when I made that and <laughs> that, it wasn't bad. I ended up eating it and, um, I ended up eating it and the peach and the pancakes. It was, it wasn't bad, but, and I put, oh, and I put brown sugar in the top too. <laughs> <laughs> to make it like a coffee cake but it all just kind of mixed together so that was kind of funny um yeah <laughs> i wouldn't say it was horrible but it was like yeah it was a food experiment <laughs> you love my outdoor activities kayaking hiking um communing with bird friends yeah thank you yeah um i'm excited i want to go kayaking i think sometime next month i have somewhere i'd like to go kayaking in mind and i can't wait and i'm gonna bring you guys along um uh yeah kitchen nightmare i uh yeah goulash <laughs> it was like i was gonna do like a peach cobbler type thing and it was like a peach I don't know, a goop, goulash, peach goulash. I'm gonna grab, um, before my tea gets too strong. Let's see. Um, looking back, thank you so much. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. It says, love your videos. Love how your channel is growing so fast. May God keep you safe, thank you. Um, thank you for the support and the encouragement and may God keep you safe as well. Um, I appreciate that, yeah. Um, let's, I'm getting a, oh, my saucer, um, and my teacup, the teacup. So I have the other cup I use for coffee, but I'm going to pour this tea. Good night, Eileen. Um, a sweet Ruby. She's so good. She's sleeping. Um, hi, hanging out with Stan. Didn't expect a live chat today. Love Ruby. She's precious. Yes, we will have fun. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm kind of jumping around here. Josie Mystery, really want to thank you for the uh, window covers. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Good. I'm glad. Oh, thank you. I'm glad that they're, that's working out and helping. Um, so uh, D4340 Max, 4340 Max. Um, she's good. She's sleeping. So I'm going to let her sleep. I have a crate in the passenger seat. So traveling she's there and then when I'm door dashing I put the crate in the back and I cover it up with a blanket um and so the crate's handy but she's in there now I figured I took her out and then I put her in there to finish getting like ready um and so she fell asleep so I'm just gonna let her hang out there um Daniel um it says you tried what um Dan Daniel um what did you try was there a question that I missed, Daniel? 
Um, oh, you're back, Liz Mecca. <laughs> nice. You had to run a friend to get food. Wow. Well, that was fast. That seemed like um, you just you just said you were going to be right back. You're super, super quick. Oh, the puppy breath kisses are amazing. Oh my gosh. Yes, the puppy breath. I had forgotten until like... I smelled her puppy breath. Yeah. Um, oh, thank you, Deborah. You did some prayers for me today. Thank you. And thank you, Shannon. You love the dishes. Good night, Lori. Thanks for popping on and hanging out. Good night, Karima. Stay safe as well. And thanks for joining us. Um, hi, Annie P. Amy, you do food deliveries also? You love the flexibility? and the adventure and camping awesome <laughs> oh yeah speaking of tea let me um let me pour my tea so this is it's there tea bags were in there i showed that earlier so this let's see if it's steeped properly oh yeah see that's a nice tea and then i have my creamer and then i have these cookies that i want to show you guys um and this is the oh one of these this creamer in it and this one. Oh, thank you hanging out with stan thank you so much i appreciate the super chat thank you i appreciate that um daniel says you're on facebook um oh you're trying to learn <laughs> is that what you're saying you tried you're trying to learn what did you try to learn um cooking some cooking I'm not, yeah, I'm not on Facebook. Yeah, Ruby's eyes are amazing. I don't know what they'll be. I know that puppies have like bluish eyes when they're little. And so I think that hers might be like a greenish, I'm not sure, or a light brown, but it's fun to watch. Um, she'll wake up, you guys will see her. Um, but yeah, she does have really an expressive eyes. Um, yeah. So this is the, um, I use powdered milk and um, powdered sugar in here. So I'm just gonna put a big scoop of this in my tea because I like cream in my coffee and my tea. Um, and I've had two cups of coffee today, so I don't know that I need more caffeine, but we'll see. I might start bouncing off the walls. Um, Oh, you asked how I handle the whole bathroom situation? Okay. Um, oh, you're an Australian. Valentine's Day was yesterday. Well, happy Valentine's Day, Leanne. <laughs> oh, and then how to start a YouTube channel. You need help with that too. Okay. Um, yeah. So, hi, Diane. Ruby's doing great. Yeah. Hi, Plants with Gigi. Um, yeah oh she might have might she doesn't have mites or fleas and um no she's yeah she's uh okay so the youtube channel or the bathroom daniel or both um the youtube channel that i would just say find something that you love or the act of filming um i mean that's important to enjoy it whatever it is that you're filming about but also um or it could just be like photography or editing um, um um thank you thank you liz i appreciate that thank you so much um you'll get help um yeah for the youtube i would just keep posting um i would just make a video and just you'll learn you'll learn as you go along um about editing about um you know you'll 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 learn to the process um i guess um if you look at my first video i went back and added a thumbnail but at first it was like i didn't even know how to do that and it just randomly picks like a a, a part of it um but yeah i would just keep doing it um hi cc castro um, bye <laughs> and happy valentine's day to you as well yeah liz yeah yeah just keep posting yep yeah no it'll it'll get easier and um and yeah if people see the consistency um well also just for yourself 
and then the consistency um you know if somebody likes a video and they see that you have like more videos then they'll be interested in that um i don't know i i i, I that's the best advice i can give um i liked vlogging i liked um sharing my day um initially i did the two videos on a van i did a longer one that was a tour and then i was like well that was kind of like all over the place and then when I uploaded it it cut it in half because I think I was holding the camera the wrong way and it just like it was a mess so I tried to edit it down into a shorter one so I did a longer one and a short one of the van that I had converted and I wanted to share with YouTube and put it out there how I designed my van how I converted my van because I had learned about it from YouTube so I wanted to give back so I did those two videos and I just put them out there. Thank you, Diane, I appreciate that. Thank you for the super chat. Happy Valentine's Day to you as well. <laughs> um, and I put them out there and then I noticed that, um, you know, it would be, it, it would, overnight it would go from 10 views to 12 views. And that was really exciting. I was like, somebody's seeing this. And that means that maybe I'm helping. Okay, um, <laughs> sorry, I hit a button real quick, but um, thanks for hanging on guys. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, so then I it went, you know, even just a couple more views, I was like, somebody's seeing these, somebody's seeing the, the, um, the van tour that I did. And that was very encouraging. And I just left them there for two months and I didn't do anything. I didn't add anything, but I saw that there were people that were, um, watching them. And I don't remember what the next video was, but I thought, you know, let me try and do another one. And I just did like a vlog style because I was doing a lot of door dashing at the time. And, um, oh, and then converting my van on the weekends. No, I wasn't door dashing. I was working at the natural food store. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you. Um, and it's your first, um, super chat. Thank you so much. It says for me and Ruby, I appreciate that. And I'll get something for us. Um, maybe a toy we can share <laughs> a fetch like those things. Um, and it's the first super chat. So I feel honored for that. Um, I'm remembering now. I don't don't remember the first, but yeah, it was the van conversion and I think I put a skylight in, I put the fan in, and I would either go after work at the natural food store or on the weekends. But I wanted to keep documenting about my van. And then I traveled for a little bit and I vlogged that and then I quit the job at the natural food store and I started door dashing full time. And that I started vlogging my DoorDash because I was working like 60 hours a week to make ends meet. And so in order to film, like I couldn't take a day off to film, I just vlogged my day, which was DoorDashing. And that's where a lot of that came from. And then I also at the same time in the back of my mind was thinking, okay, um, I sold my van, so how am I going to fulfill my plan of living in my vehicle after my son's done with high school to save money. Like, how am I going to do that? And then I realized like I could, I could sleep in my car comfortably and take out the seats. And so then I made videos about that and then it just kind of progressed. Um, but yeah. Um, oh, and then the, the toileting, um, oh, if it, I sell YouTube help and advice, you need help hanging out with Stan. <laughs> um, I don't sell it, <laughs> but I'm happy to, I mean, I think I just shared a little bit about that. Um, I would just keep doing it and keep posting and keep doing it. Um, where can you see a story about Ruby? Well, I have a video I just did. It was, um, you know, a lot of footage on her, uh, Flora Bama Bell. Are you wondering what can I answer about Ruby? I don't, I don't have a, I don't have a story about her yet, um, but I could do that. Um, um, okay, let's see. I'm, I'm feeling like I'm behind on that. <laughs> There's a lot of um, comments uh, where I got her. I got her from Bakersfield. Um, it was a family. There was a post for free puppies in Craigslist. And it said five and a half week old puppies 
free to good home. And so I um, reached out and got a response right away. And I, um, I went and visited them and they, he said that the mom, they had the mom and the dad there. And I, um, it sounded like they couldn't afford to take care of them and that they'd stopped um, the mom had stopped. She didn't want to keep nursing them. She wasn't interested in, um, I'm guessing it's because of all the teeth and the chewing. Um, but he was saying that they eat a ton of food and it was like, they just wanted them to go because they were eating solid food. So that's Ruby. The mom and the dad were there. The dad is a, a lab mix. And, um, I know they're very young. Um, uh, and I don't know if they're, they're I, I, I don't know if they're gonna bring them to a shelter or what. I know that they wanted to find homes for them like ASAP. Um, so I, I will say that the mom was pretty like, like she wasn't, she was a little like alert, but she wasn't at all like, it didn't seem like she was really sad to see her go. I mean, she was kind of like, okay. <laughs> um, yeah she wasn't at all like clingy or whiny or anything um but it, it is young it is it's it's it is young so that's where that's where ruby came from um yeah um happy valentine's day ashley um i'm missing a whole lot of comments and um yeah so hopefully that answers about where ruby um ruby came from um let's see mash what's the one item what's one item you wish you had when you first started car living and what item you realized you didn't need oh hmm that is a good question what's one item that i wish i wished i had when i've um well two things that i've gotten i did get up um Okay. Oh, that's hard to, to say just one. Three things I've added um, since I've started car life are um, a solar. I have a solar panel and a power station, and that's been very helpful because before that, sometimes I would have to run the car to charge up my phone. And um, I don't have a lot of electronics, but I do use my phone a lot. I use it for filming. I use it for um, looking up stuff on the internet, for finding um, different places to stay at night, for keeping in touch um, like with my son. So I use my phone a lot. And so to, it's important to keep it fully charged or to keep it charged. And um, when my m wipers went out, I was at a campground and it was raining. And so I couldn't actually go anywhere until the rainstorm stopped <laughs> and it was three days. Fortunately, I was at a campground and so I was in a comfortable spot, but it was raining and so I couldn't drive safely until it stopped raining and then I could get the wiper blades fixed. And I remember my bat, my phone, it kept dying and I would have to start the car and charge up my phone. So I um, was gifted um, and there's a video about my solar setup and um, um, somebody gifted me with an EcoFlow power station and a solar panel and that's been a huge upgrade and I really appreciate that. Um, and then also my gray water setup um, is something that I didn't have at first. And so like doing dishes or brushing my teeth, uh, it was a lot trickier to try to kind of like navigate that stuff. Um, and so now I have that funnel and it's taped to the empty gallon. And so when I brush my teeth, I can, I have a cup, a designated cup for teeth brushing. Um, and I just, I use this as like a little mini sink. I run water um, over my toothbrush. I put toothpaste, I do this. And then I add water to that and I just rinse this out a few times. And um, I don't have to leave the car. So I don't have to like get out of the car, um, which, and I try to reduce getting out of my car as many times as possible just because i think it draws attention if i'm always getting out of my car um so i do have a puppy now and we get out to <laughs> go to the bathroom so i'm a little less stealth but i've also have a lot more experience 
um, with places to stay that are um, than I did in the beginning. So I feel like when I first started and was in my um, Toyota Corolla, I was really worried about stealth. Like stealth was like really, really important to me. And I still think that it is. And that's one thing that I like about this car, but I've also learned where I can park that is a little more friendly um, to people staying in their car. So it's like, I don't, I've learned, I've just learned more about like parking overnight and which places I'll have to be super stealthy. And so with a puppy, I'm not going to park somewhere where I have to be super stealthy until she's older and can sleep through the night. And um, yeah, but right now, yeah. So hopefully that answers. And then one thing I missed a whole bunch. Um, <laughs> there was one thing that I wish I'd had and one thing that I didn't need. Well, I got an electric blanket for a little while and it was great, but it sucked through the power on my power station. So maybe that was something that I got for a little while and it was really nice, but it did use a lot of power. So I, I didn't end up keeping that. Mm. Um, a winter coat. <laughs> um, I, I never wore my big winter coat. Um, and now the winter's almost over. So, um, yeah, that was something else that I thought I might use. Um, is it hard to edit using my phone? No, it's not. It's hard on my eyes, but not in terms of the, 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 um, not in terms of like the software. Um, I, I need reading glasses and, uh, these are 1.5 and I guess technically my reading glasses prescription is 1.75. So, um, and then I have these, these are like for driving. So you'll see me alternate. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing is that if I don't have these glasses, I can't see. Um, so a bigger screen would probably be easier on my eyes. But in terms of the software, it's not it's not too hard to use my phone. Um, happy Heart Day to you too, Terry. And happy Valentine's Day to you, Alice. Um... I'm just looking over. I love when you, I love seeing you guys um, have conversations and connections. Um, I love it. Um, Michelle says, I've been a rescuer and foster about 10 years now and she'll be okay as long as you socialize her well and teach boundaries. Also, if you have her on kibble, make sure to wet it with warm water. Okay, yeah. Um, thank you for that. Yeah, she's, she's really bonded um, with me, which is which is nice. Um, it is a little sad because she was so young and it took her a little bit. I get this Rachel Ray puppy food. Um, it's this and this seems to do really well with her stomach. Um, she got a little upset. I got some soft food at Port, port or Authority. No, not Port Authority. That's like a train or an airport or something, but um, Authority soft food I got for a little bit but that actually um gave her a runny stomach so um this is the food that seems to work well but I will try warming up some water and putting it on that um yeah I'm really sensitive and like sometimes people will be like oh like at the gas station they're like you know oh can she have a dog a dog treat and I'm like no she's not old enough yet um and I have heard that socializing is very very critical especially I was reading about puppies that um, are really young when they're um, separated from their mom so it yeah it said something about socializing because they can have anxiety so I try to do what I can to alleviate her anxiety like I've she likes talk radio and so sometimes like where normally I would be driving and having quiet, I'll just put on talk radio because it seems like that calms her down. So um, I'm trying to tune into like helping her not feel anxious. Um, and I carry her in my messenger bag a lot. Um, and somebody suggested a one of those um, dog stuffed animals and it has like a heart a beating heart in it. Uh, and I did look at a pet, one at the pet store. It was 
$39 and I've seen one online for about 20 so I don't know I didn't get it but um, I've heard that that is useful too with the heartbeat but I just try to have her close to me as much as possible um, hi Sonia the one love from Pakistan hello sending love back to you Ruby's 012 happy Valentine's Day <laughs> happy valentine's day to you as well um try bl buffalo blue puppy food i will is it hard kibble because it seems like i'm nervous about the soft can stuff now but yeah i think hard kibble and then maybe putting warm water that sounds like a good good thing um jennifer says you're trying to learn how to do van life with your cats and you're thinking you'll need a larger van like a pro master would love to be able to use an odyssey though yeah i've seen people do um van life in minivans with cats i think that it depends on your cat and that i also think um you know i think it is important for the cat to be able to get outside or cats to be able to get outside so maybe trying out a harness and a, a leash um and I've heard just start by having just the harness on the cat for a while and have them get used to that. And then you can have them be outside. Um, yeah, I think it's doable. Hi, Tammy, happy Valentine's Day. Oh, from Mo, <laughs> happy Valentine's Day to you too. A ticking clock will sound like Ruby's mom. That's a good idea. Yeah, maybe it'll be less expensive too. This always happens where this one leg, <laughs> I want to stretch it out. There we go. I think I did it. I stretched it out. I haven't shown you guys my cookies yet. <laughs> I made cookies. Um, oh, Valerie, look, I was just asking about the cookies. <laughs> oh, and Jean is wondering about the bathroom situation. Okay. Um, yeah, I will. I will talk about that. I'll talk about that maybe and then show the cookies or maybe... Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Plants with Gigi. Hello. From Rowan County, North Carolina. Wait, what? There's a county, a Rowan County in North Carolina? That's cool. Plants with Gigi. Um, do I get scared in the dark woods at night? No, I don't. Um, unless I have gotten scared, but overall I don't get scared. Um, buffalo, wait until payday. Yeah. Um, hard kibble. Oh, you'd love to gift me some. Don't, no, don't worry about that. But it has to wait till Friday. Um, oh, no, it's okay. I will look into it. I'll check it out. The, the, yeah, I'm, it's good to know it's hard kibble because it seemed like that. Moistened kibble. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah, thank you guys for the helpful tips. That's, it's good. Um, it's so cute. She's all sleepy. We really ran around before, like, bef like an hour before the live. Um, I just love running around and like, <laughs> and then we like play. It's so fun. Um, you want some cookies? <laughs> anything grain. Yeah, I don't like um, grain. Um, wait, stay away from anything grain free. Okay, and you'll be fine with puppy food. Make sure to get all puppy shots and boot. Yes. Um, yep. Uh, so I think like I was talking to PetSmart and they have something. It's Banfield Pet or vet animal hospital inside the pet smart and i can start like a series and then um that way as i travel um it'll all be the same under the banfield pet place so i won't have to keep going back to the same office in the same town i think that's how it'll work out um well um but if anybody has any information about that then um let me know yeah um, do I find myself more frightened camping in the city like New York or in the woods? No, um, I think it's like some of it is just intuition. Hi, Hala. I don't know if I said hi to you, um, but this is the first time I've seen you on here, I think. So hi. <laughs> oh, frozen green beans. Awesome. Yeah. Um, no, it's kind of like depends on my headspace like so i did there i did find a really remote place in the desert and i got nervous um which was too bad because i was so, so super excited to stay in the desert and i drove down this long road and there was no one around me and 
that's like a comfort place for me except that I got really nervous because I knew it was going to be super dark at night and it was a little tricky to get out like the way I got in and out and I and it was the first time in that climate I'm not as familiar with that climate so I got nervous and I didn't end up staying there which was too bad um I remember last year the first couple times staying on forest roads in Washington that I was a little nervous overnight um, but I just did it and it got very comfortable um, so um, isn't it better to camp around other people I mean I think it depends who the people are um, but in general yeah I would love to I'd love to do that like I think campgrounds are kind of ideal like spread out campgrounds where everybody has their own space or or uh, you know places where there are other people staying in their car um, and that's kind of what I've learned is like my favorite in terms of comfort where I know other people are also staying in their cars but that it seems like everybody is kind of respectful of each other um, that's that's probably my favorite in terms of feeling comfortable and safe um, but I love being outside in nature so when I can find a situation like that that's outside in nature like not in a city but outside then that's like paradise yeah <laughs> so once in a while like I've found like campgrounds or um, there's parts of Washington where there's a lot of people that live in their vehicles in um, like national forest and I'm sure there's other places too I just don't haven't gotten to know those communities yet um, so all right um quickly I'll address the bathroom thing because that's come up a few times I have um so um who oh, as he can um um yeah I'm glad that wish upon dreams I'm glad you caught the live too and um thanks for hitting that thumbs up when you guys come in um I see there's 271 people in here right now and 225 likes so thank you um I have under my bed so I, I went through a process and at first I had something called a pea stylus and I, it's in one of the shorts where it was like five things that have like I, I forget what it's called but it was like five things about you know that have really helped make my car a home and it's um something I got off Amazon and it's like a, a cup and then it had like a spout and it's you just like pee I think it's designed to like for a woman to stand up and be able to like pee on the side of the road without drawing a lot of attention like squatting um and so I ordered that and that was kind of handy and I could pee into that and then have that go into a bottle because it's very hard for me to pee in like a bottle with a small opening so that helped that process um however it was this bendy material and there was one time where it like bent <laughs> And it like folded and so it didn't drain into the bottle. It just like overflowed. And I was like, I'm not dealing with this. This thing didn't work. I'm, I'm over it. I'm not dealing with it. So that was kind of the end of the pea stylus. And after that, I just skipped right to this like, well, I kept that for a while just as, I don't know, but I don't, I, I think I threw that away. But what I have now is a, plastic it looks like a shoe box the size of a shoe box it's a tupperware thing i think it was like a dollar fifty at home depot or something and i just saw it one day when i was in there and i was like that'll be perfect it's like literally the size of a shoe box plastic and it has a lid that snaps on but it's not like if i dumped it like upside or like like it could drip out but like that's okay yeah but that doesn't happen <laughs> so what i do now if i need to go in my car which doesn't always happen because when I'm door dashing in the evening, wherever I go door dashing, I'll make sure I use the bathroom, the last place that I door dash. If I don't um, 
DoorDash. If I'm not DoorDashing, then I'll find like a grocery store, McDonald's, um, a rest area, a Starbucks, somewhere where I can use the bathroom and before I hunker down for the night. And then when I wake up first thing in the morning, I'll find a bathroom. Um, or I'm, a, I'm at a campground and they have bathrooms or I'm somewhere where they have a bathroom. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm parked somewhere where they have a bathroom, like a rest area or I don't know, different places. So, but when I do need to go to um, pee in the middle of the night, I will squat on that thing and pee. And then I take that and I have a funnel and I have a separate gallon that I keep under the bed and I'll pour from that Tupperware bin into, through the funnel, into the gallon and the gallon I can bring and pour into a toilet. So, and that's just for pee, that's not, I've never had to go number two in my car, thankfully. And I am imagining if I had to use that Tupperware thing, I could, I just haven't had to, and I don't really wanna think about it too much, and I'm hoping I never have to. So, um, but I have, um, for the middle of the night, the pee, pee stuff that I've, I've done that and it works pretty well, it's all contained. The funnel goes inside. After I pour it into the gallon thing, I have this disinfectant stuff that I spray everything down. I wipe, I throw, um, you know, like, it's just a pretty tidy system. I will say though that knowing that I have that has really decreased my anxiety and made it so like, I don't even have to pee in the middle of the night. Before I had that set up, I was really anxious about it and the anxiety made me feel like I always had to go pee because I was like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do if I have to, you know, before I had somewhere to go. So just having a system that I can use if need be kind of like makes it a non-issue, which was kind of an interesting thing. So um, I know that that's come up a lot. So um, like in my tour videos, people are like, I don't see a toilet. And it's like, no, I don't have a whole toilet, but I have a very comfortable system. It's very clean, it's very tidy. It goes under my bed, it's all disinfected. There's nothing else under there that's like, you know, it's not, it's separate from the food and all that. And then I never use it for number two. So yeah, um, but yeah, any more questions about that? Cause I <laughs> That's I'm, I, I don't, I'm gonna transition now. Um, hard to find places to shower, it can be hard. And I know there's Planet Fitness. Um, um, I know there's Planet Fitness, a lot of people said that. So I have a little history with Planet Fitness, nothing crazy, um, it's just they were double charging me for a while. I had one and in order to start another one, I had to cancel the other one. So I went back to the, I guess there you have like a home base Planet Fitness. So I went to that one. I canceled it. I opened up another account at a different like home base place, but I was being double charged for the, both of those. Um, I mean, I was being, they didn't cancel it. They like renewed it um, rather than canceling. So there was some sort of miscommunication in that. So I was getting charged the $24.99 at that one place. And I know it's $10, but if you want to be able to use it all over, it's $24.99. And so then I um, was also getting charged for the other one. So that's $50. And then this is at a time where, you know, every penny, I mean, it's like, it, it, I ended up overdrafting. And then there was some bill that didn't get paid because I had overdraft from the Planet Fitness. So it ended up being like over $100. Something that would be $24.99 ended up being over $100. And I just didn't want to deal with it anymore. Um, so I know there's Planet Fitness and at some point I will go and make sure that I'm really canceled and I might need to open now another place. <laughs> I don't know, but it was just like the automated payments. Um, it can be really tricky and especially, you know, not having a ton in the bank and if automated payments come out and other things aren't going through, I would just rather not have the automated payments. So. I hear, I know that Planet Fitness is like a really great place and it's something that down the road, possibly I'll, I'll, um, but I've, I've tried to find other, it is getting dark. Um, let's see. Oh, we can do this. Um, uh, 
Uh, Ruby's being so good. She's taking a long nap. Um, but I think that... Uh, no, that's not working. Okay. Um, there's like the rec center. Sorry for a second here, guys. I'm trying to get this light. I don't know if it's... Maybe it's... Oh, there we go. Ooh, that's bright for me. How is that for you guys? Because it's, it's, it's a little bright. <laughs> That's a little bright. Um, hmm. The YMCA. Yeah, so you can use the, the at the Y, and now I'm going to put the covers up because now it's like a fishbowl. Um, you can use the, um, the Y, but the, the best place I found, honestly, and then Love's is expensive, um, but it's kind of nice because you get your own room and then um rec centers i highly recommend the community centers and rec centers sometimes the y has a free a free shower program where i um in washington oh sorry <laughs> technical difficulties i'm trying to get us situated i'm not sure i like this light that's kind of dark though and then there's this option too you, you guys know about this thing <laughs> um how much time do you get at Love's? Well, they told me 10, 10 to 15 minutes, but I think it's actually like um, as long as you want from what I've heard from people. Um, <laughs> this this light is so weird. Um, I don't know. Okay. You tumbled. I know. Is everybody okay? Brush yourselves off. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's late here in the UK, Sheila. Good night. Um, keep safe. Good night, night, Rowan and Ruby. I know she's sleeping. I'm going to get her up in a little bit, but then I might need to end the live. Um, um, and then, hold on, there's one more. Um, the rec centers, though, a lot of times you can get a day pass at a rec center, a recreational center, and the day pass is like six bucks, and it includes all the facilities. So, for people that don't have Planet Fitness, check out a rec center. Um, yeah. I highly recommend rec centers. Um, you want to see her? Okay. Before I do that, I'm going to show you guys the cookies that I made. And I was going to do... You guys know Linzer cookies? Good night, Cheryl. Um, here are my cookies. They came out okay. They're not great. You guys know Linzer cookies? Oh, you need a neck brace. <laughs> That's funny. No, I'm not liable for any injuries caused by the fall. <sighs> Disclaimer. Um, these are just sugar cookies. You guys know Linzer cookies? I hear her. She's getting up. I hear her little grunt. She's like, hmm. She, she heard us talking about cookies. Yeah, those are a little well done, but these, I hand cut these out. I hand, I hand cut them with my, my handy dandy knife that is the knife that I use. So these are hand cut with love. And I was going to, um, <laughs> trauma, uh oh, from the fall, Douglas. <laughs> um, I was going to put strawberry jam and cut out like another heart in the middle and then put strawberry jam and make like a sandwich um like a linzer cookie but i don't think i'm gonna do that but here if anybody would like a bite happy valentine's day guys here here <laughs> sending lots of love to all of you so much love um i'm gonna try a bite good night douglas Oh, thank you, Padrig Mortimer. You just found the channel and you subscribed. Well, welcome to the channel. Excuse me. These are these aren't bad. I think they would have been fun um, with the strawberry jam in the middle, um, but they're pretty tasty. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Somebody's awake. Oh, it's good, Sharon? <laughs> Trish, 
Trader Joe's has good raspberry heart cookies right now. Oh, but they're not gluten free. Yeah. Um. Oh, thank you, Sage. Yeah, I did them very carefully. You're gonna make brownies, Wiggy. All right, I'm gonna get her. She might need to go to the bathroom, but because she just woke up. Um. But let's see. Let's see her. Come here, Ruby. Here. Come on. I don't know if she can get out of the crate by herself. Come on. Come here. You want help? Come here. You can do it. Yeah, come here. Oh, I'll help you. They want to hide you. <laughs> I should just show you guys the cam. I mean, I should um, I should have the camera go over here. I might need to climb around. I've never taken her out of the um. I've never taken her out of the crate from this angle. So hold on one second. Oh, here she comes. You can do it. Come on. Come on. There's some people that want to say hi. Okay. Here's Ruby. <laughs> um, let's see, maybe I have to move the camera angle. <laughs> Ruby. <laughs> I don't know how to, um, Ruby, you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> Where can we hang this? Maybe we can put this here. Does that work? I'm trying to see, maybe she is. Let's see, I can turn the camera. It's kind of dark in here. So this is something, this is a learning curve. <laughs> Puppy filming, that's a learning curve. She is like full energy. She probably wants to go outside now. He took a nice nap. She probably wants to go outside. Hey, Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. I kind of only have this up a little bit. See, people could still peek in here. This is my makeshift <laughs> haphazard setup right now. Yeah, she is cute. I'll probably have to take her outside and it's raining, um, but here. <laughs> no, oh, here, there's a toy. You can wait. Do you guys want to hang out while I go take her outside really quickly? Oh yeah, she probably does smell. Yeah, she probably does smell the cookies. Um, <laughs> you're gonna wait. Okay, I'll actually, oh, well, we're still trying to figure this out. Right, yes, potty training 101, yeah. Well, good night for the people that are saying good night. I'm going to take her out really quickly. I'll be right back for anybody that wants to hang out. And then um, we'll probably be on for another little bit. And then, um, yeah, but I'm going to bring her outside really quickly.
so she doesn't have an accident here. BRB, guys. BRB. Okay. <laughs> well, she went pee. She didn't go poo. So she might need to do that at some point. But hi, guys. <laughs> Everybody's still here. Thanks for hanging out. She is a lab and healer mix. Oh, she's going for her food. Okay, I'm going to feed her a little bit. Um, she smells the cookies. Who said that? Oh, yeah, thank you. Yes, I will lock the door. Um, she smells the cookies because she's looking around. She's like, yeah, that's... I'll get her some food. Those are my potato chips. I'll do a little water for her. Here. A little bit of water for you. Let's see. I have cookie breath, I do. <laughs> There was a fire in Quartzite? I did not hear about that. What happened? Is is everybody okay? Good girl, Ruby. I didn't hear about a fire in Quartzite. That's scary. Um, I'm going to heat up a little water. She probably will be a pretty big dog. Um, but, but her mom was kind of small. Um, it could be tough puppy proofing. Um, I have the crate, so my plan is that I'll always be in here. Um, fresh baked cookies, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, an RV caught fire? Oh, that's scary. I hope everybody is okay. Um, a couple stopped to use the restroom when they came out. Their RV had smoke coming out of the engine. That's scary. Um, Hi, for Day's Kitchen. You found the channel and been binge watching? Thank you. I give off beautiful energy. Thank you so much. Welcome to the channel. Um, yeah, she wants more water. You guys are helping me. Yeah, she definitely... And I'm going to heat up a little bit of water so I can put warm water on her food. So that my thought is to have her in the crate when... Um, um, like... Oh, she's just going for the food. Here, let me put a little water on it. This is probably warm. I don't want it too hot for you. Oh, it's tea. Whoops. That's still the tea. Nope, you don't want that anymore. I'm not trying to give you tea. <laughs> you guys, this is a glimpse of like <laughs> my adjustment period to being a puppy mom. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I was about to give her some strong English breakfast tea that's been steeping. I heated that back up, so I think I'll have some. 
Um, but most of the time I'll be in here and we'll be going for lots of hikes and adventures and stuff. So, um, so I do need to puppy proof, but I think that if she has lots of toys, lots of exercise and that like if I run into the grocery store or if I'm going into like um, a gym for a shower that there's the crate and she can be in the crate um, while I do that stuff so hopefully she won't chew and then I'm gonna hang my ukulele up on the ceiling so that'll be out of the reach and healer and lab yeah her mom was um, her mom was a medium-sized dog and her dad was like a lab but um a thinner lab like he looked like he might have had like a a skinnier kind of a dog mixed with him like i don't know a weimaraner or like because his eyes were kind of like hers they were lighter or like a hound dog i'm not sure time will tell her paws aren't huge you love my music yeah so <laughs> <laughs> the ukulele is really fun to play, but um, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. I was kind of shy about that. Oh, thank you. I'm doing great at being a puppy mom. Yeah. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. She's fun. And the way she looks at me, it's like, you could tell there's a lot going on. Like she's, she's um, taking a lot in and expressing a lot through her eyes. Hi, Priscilla. Hello from Florida. yeah so you like the the ukulele well good i'll keep practicing um it's a little tricky to tune so with my violin uh, i played the violin for 10 years and i got good enough at it that i see i'm not good enough that i can just automatically yes unconditional love yeah yep dogs are very smart with my violin, I just knew, um, hi Jeff, um, I just knew the sound, the strings, um, I knew, I knew how to tune it just from my ear, I don't, I don't know that yet, so I have, um, an app on my phone that I tune. Good night, looking back, um, good night Ruby, good night Rowan, stay happy and keep playing your ukulele, thank you. It's like that story, Good Night Moon. Do you guys know that story? <laughs> I love it. Good night, everyone. Good night, Ruby. Good night, Rowan. Good night, looking back. Thanks for joining us on the live. I hope you have a peaceful evening. Um, how did I find Ruby? Um, uh, there was an ad in Craigslist for free puppies, um, which I just look and at the animals sometimes. Um, as I travel around, it's something fun just to see like the different areas. Um, and so um, I contacted them and yeah, it just was like, it just flowed and worked out and, and then, yeah. Um, you read, you read, you read Good Night Moon to your granddaughter every night? Wow, that's awesome. Hi Mel, <laughs> welcome to the live. Hi Jill, I love all the strawberries that just popped up. You're praying for a new pup, Melissa? Yeah, um, um, there were still four males. I looked, I just looked at the ad. I looked it up yesterday and they still had some, I think, in the ad. It was updated and it said there were four males. So if you're anywhere near Bakersfield, there's some free puppies there that need somebody to take care of them and feed them and love them. Um, Max had bright light blue eyes, now they're light tan. Yeah, I'm thinking that hers might be. Um, I think the blue is like a film from when puppies are younger. Happy Valentine's Day to you too, Mel. <laughs> what is this? It was a view with her playing. I just thought, dang, she can really play it right out of the gate. What, the ukulele? <laughs> um... I'm learning. Rowan County. Oh, Rowan. Okay. Rowan County. Um, that's good to know, but it's spelled Rowan. You had chocolate covered strawberries. Yum. Delicious. I thought about doing those instead of the cookies, but I went to Safeway yesterday. 
I will get my cat back. My cat's with my son. So, um, my son was 16 when I got my cat. So my cat's very familiar with my son. Although I was like, that's my cat. Um, you know, I fed her, I cuddled with her. She stayed with me, all that. Um, but she's, she's safe where she is. She's comfortable where she is. And when I'm able to have her with me, I will. Um, yes, I have not abandoned or neglected my cat. She's, she's, I just, I miss her and I know she misses me. Um, but I will have my cat again someday. Um, she's, it, it would require more training to get her ready to, um, live in a car, but maybe when I have a larger vehicle, like a box truck or a mini school bus, or maybe I'll have a van again someday and I can have Ruby and Meowsers with me and I would just like be on cloud nine. <laughs> Especially if I had a wood stove too and my ukulele, gosh, like I, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, life, life, life is good, but um, you can't find the strawberry emoji. Hmm. Maybe, um, under fruit or if you type in search under the emojis, you're from up North pronounced it like, like my name Rowan and was told it was Rowan. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, hi. Is it Nime or new N Y me or is it Nime? How do you pronounce your name? But welcome. Welcome to the channel from Maine. Awesome. Maine is beautiful. Um, you're looking for the strawberry emoji. There's a ukulele underground forum. Yeah. What is that on? Is that, um, I don't have Facebook. I've considered opening a Facebook just so I can make connections with other, um, car dwellers. And like, I think it'd be cool if there was like a Honda pilot meetup or something. Um, Oh, <laughs> somebody's a little playful. She finished her food. Um, oh, you like the editing, JC Colin? Good. Um, hi, Anne. Anne from Nebraska. She's pulling on my hair. Use this toy. Here. Let's see. Hi, R. Francis. All is well, and I hope all is well with you as well. Um, I think, um, thank you, Christine. Thank you for that belief and vision. Yes, I love the strawberry emojis, you guys. <laughs> yeah, you search for a strawberry and it popped up. Um, yes, I was um, in Safeway. I was excited to tell you guys this. I was in Safeway yesterday and they had free, free samples of chocolate covered strawberries. And I had one and it was amazing. And then the, the lady, that was um, offering the free samples. She was like, would you like another one? I have all of these. And I was like, absolutely. Um, and they were so good. Yes, the strawberry emojis. <laughs> I love it. Yay. <laughs> you bought the window look decals. Oh, awesome. Which ones did you get? Um, I have this snow one and I think I might, I might move my swan to the smaller window cover and I'm thinking of getting like a bamboo roll up shade for the back. I just don't know how stealth that would be. The light would probably, um, would probably shine through, but I think it'd be cool. Like those, I don't know. Do you know those like, they're like bamboo shades and you can like, like, um, roll them up. I think in the back would be really kind of fun to have. And then the swan, I would move to where the snow is now, like behind this lamp. Um, but yeah, there's <laughs> lots of strawberries. <laughs> she is so playful all of a sudden. She feels like my hair is the thing to play with. How about this toy? Do you guys want to see her again? I think she wants a cookie, but you're not going to get a cookie. Ruby. She woke up ready to play. Here, come over here. It's easier to play over here. Look, she wants a cookie. She keeps trying to work her way up to the cookies. See, they're in their pan right there. That's what she's trying to get to these. No, nope. It's 
Sorry for the shaky camera, guys. <laughs> Let's see there. There she is. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot here. And then I have tea. Happy Valentine's Day, Scarlet. Sweet dreams too as well. Oh, Galentine's Day, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Marianne. Happy Galentine's Day to you as well. Oh, two people from Adelaide, nice, truly. And Sage, that's awesome. What's going on with DoorDash? Oh yeah, there is a strike. Um. I learned, I read, or I saw a video about it, and it was, um, I think it's about um, just people are going on strike because of like wages, but um, I don't really get too into the politics with DoorDash. Um, I didn't end up DoorDashing today, although I looked and it was busy. It took a while for it to update my other location um, to where I was going, and by the time it updated, I had already, um, uh, yeah, her collar is strawberries. <laughs> um, so it updated my location, but I was already had like different plans at that point. Um, I was going to go early this morning, but um, I don't. I think it's all areas that are striking. I, I'm not sure. Um, oh, you like the rain in the background? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, it makes a nice sound. Um, Yeah, this light always makes me like, I don't know, it always is weird to me. <laughs> I can never get this light situated where I like it. <laughs> I don't know. And then, and then there's this puppy. Um, do you guys have much experience with like those interactive puppy toys? I was looking those up. Did Some did strike in Las Vegas. Yeah, I think like all over people just... Um, we're not going to DoorDash today. Yeah, it did. The back window covering, it's like part way down. I'm not too worried about like where I am right now. I'm not going to stay here after the live. So it's okay if I'm not too, too worried about trying to be like stealthy. Um, I just didn't want to be a fishbowl. Um, but yeah, thanks though. Thanks for looking out. Um, Rideshare. <laughs> the light. I never know where to put this light. There. Maybe that's better. Oh, that's good because now I can see you guys, the comments, and it's not blinding me. You love watching the videos, Belinda? Yeah, the strike. Um, I was saying this earlier, like, I don't really get too into the, the politics of DoorDash. Like, I know some people are like, no tip, no trip. Like, if somebody doesn't tip, they don't accept the order. For me, I, it's like, if I decide... I like to keep my dash now status where I can dash anytime because there's flexibility in that. So in order to do that, it's doing a hundred deliveries a month and keeping my acceptance rate above a certain amount and my, all my ratings up. And that's a lot of flexibility to me to be able to dash now whenever I want. And then the other thing that, um, I like is that every order that comes in, I can either accept it or not. Like that's a choice in itself. So, um, in terms of some of the other more detailed stuff, it's, um, I understand people that really get into that stuff. It's just, it's not, um, I don't know, but I did know there was a strike today. Um, you like the jar with the lights? Um, the cardigan, which cardigan, which cardigan there was, I have a video about a cardigan I crocheted and then I have a cardigan that I got recently that, um, I didn't make, I bought it. Um, and that one's not wool, but the one that I made is wool. Um, oh, here. You bought the green forest decal? There. Oh, nice. Oh, for your window. That's awesome, Sage. The green forest. That sounds nice. I'm not sure I've seen that one. You guys like that? Oh, the one I made? It's, um, it's, no, it's, uh, the pattern is attached. It's called the Habitat Cardigan. Um, and so it's a, it is a, it's a, you do a double crochet and then a single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, and it makes kind of like a scallop pattern, but, um, look up the Habitat cardigan. I think I put a link to the video that I used, 
um, in that. But thank you. Yeah, I like that cardigan as well. And the wool that I used was very thin, so it came out smaller. Um, and it was uh, a merino wool. Um, a really nice, very thin merino yarn. So that sweater took a long time because of how thin the yarn was, but um, but I liked it. And then I put a hood on it later on. Um, but yeah, this was fun. <laughs> These were all collected from Florida, which was kind of neat. Even Well, that was from North Carolina. That was the Outer Banks, the starfish, the sea star. I guess they're technically sea stars. But then these were all from Florida, the, the shells. Um, oop, yeah, and then, so I will probably get going um, pretty soon. How many years am I gonna live in the car? Well, um, it's more like, um, I mean, probably as long as I'm able to. You love the shells, nice. Um, you're late to the party. Well, welcome. Hi, Tammy. <laughs> you're just joining. Okay, cool. I'll be on for like another five minutes, um, but I will be getting going. And how many years? I, I My end goal is to have um, land and like a homestead and somewhere where I can really kind of root down and do some building. I'd like to build a bathhouse um, and maybe like a cob oven, a pizza oven, like a straw cob, cob oven and fruit trees and a perennial garden and things like that. Um, but I still want to travel six months out of the year. So that'll be um, six months out of the year focused on the homestead and then six months out of the year travel um, via car life, um, international travel, um, whatever, that might look different. Um, it might be a month of international travel and four months of, of car travel and a month of hiking the Appalachian Trail or something. I'm, I'm not sure. And I'd like to do that as long as I am enjoying that and I'm physically um, able to do that. But then six months be building a homestead because I imagine as I get older, I'll want to be more and more settled and I'll have less energy to travel. And so I'd like to have a pretty well established homestead. And that can be a place to, um, to offer, um, to community for people needing some place to kind of ground and also to pass along um, some some day down the road when I when I pass on to be able to have something to um, pass on both to my son and just to um, the younger generations. So, yeah, um, I I don't see not living in my car ever um, except maybe I don't know. You know, thank you so much. I say, um, Leslie, thank you. <laughs> and all the strawberries, I love it. And the, um, the Valentine um, card. Thank you so much, Leslie. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, and it's your first super chat on a live stream. Well, I am honored that your first super chat was on one of my live streams. Thank you, Leslie. Um, playful painting. I have some pretty things in my car. It looks homey. Thank you. It's a little messy now. It's a, uh, <laughs> I've got tea and cookies and puppy. <laughs> um, but thank you, I, I appreciate that. I do like making things. I'm a little bit of a minimalist, except when it comes to like decor and stuff. Um, so I don't need a lot of stuff, but I do like decorations and plants, even though they're, they're faux plants. Um, <laughs> I did have a strawberry plant um, when the weather was a little warmer. Um, yeah, so good night, Charlotte. Thanks for joining the live. Linzer, I love Linzer cookies. That's what I was going for. I've been wanting to do Linzer cookies for a while and um, I didn't quite get to pull it off, but these are tasty. Um, hi, Deborah. You love the chat. You're from Delaware. You just made your husband chocolate covered strawberries for Valentine's Day. Can I smell the chocolate? I can and the strawberries. Those must be fresh strawberries. <laughs> hmm. Oh, thanks for saying to hit the like button. I appreciate that. Butte, Montana. Nice. Um, that's in the mountains, right? I'd love to explore that area a little more. I've driven through there, but I haven't spent a lot of time. I'd love to check that out. Um, 
Natana, you appreciate the videos. Have a blessed night. Have a blessed night as well. I'm glad you appreciate the videos. Thank you. Thanks for joining the live. Um, Jesus lives. Hello, Rowan. I've been enjoying your videos. You just see, saw the, the California one by the coast. Yeah, the one I just posted. Did you like it? 256 people watching. Yes. Camp spotter Ellie, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. <laughs> Is that um KO knockout? <laughs> TKO. <laughs> thank you, Ellie. Uh, so I left my strawberry plant with my son. I don't know. I think it's not. I have that um I have the pot that it goes in, but I don't have I don't think the plant made it through the winter. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I do have that that pot and I'll probably get another one. I did get remember Sage, I got I got strawberries off of it. <laughs> that was fun. I should have saved some of the seeds from the strawberries. Hi Tammy from upstate New York. Hello. Warm smile for you too. Oh, you'll be purchasing a battery charger that you can do for yourself without assistance. That's nice. That's a handy thing. That might be a good purchase to get at some point. Um, come up to California, gold country. Nice. Yeah. I went to a whiskey town. It was years ago, but it was so fun. I camped in whiskey town or outside of whiskey town and it was very remote. Um, I forget the name of the forest there, but um, it was very remote and there was a stream there and I found little gold flecks in the um in the stream it was pretty cool I mean you could see them they look like how like um mica I've seen mica before but these were like gold gold flecks that was pretty cool I don't know if that's the same area gold country but yeah whiskey town it was kind of near Mount Shasta um how do I know I'm not in a dangerous area while door dashing um I kind of go with my gut I, I mean, I don't, I just, I just try to use my gut most of the time. If I don't feel comfortable in an area, I'll, I'll, you know, switch, but, um, oh, all right. <laughs> hey, now the window thing is falling down. Um, you like the beach break segments? Nice. Yeah. Beach break. <laughs> New puppy. Um, Elsa Tai, hi, welcome. Or ta um, Elsa Thal, Tall. Do you pronounce your name Tall? It's T H A L, right? I can't see. Um, uh, my I can't quite see if that's an I or an L. I think it's an L. You loved the latest video. Nice. I'm glad you liked that. Yeah, she's six weeks. Um, last Sunday, so it's Wednesday. She's six and a half weeks now. You have a strawberry plant too and it's flowering? Awesome, Frederica. That means you're gonna get some strawberries. That's so exciting. Um, will Ruby have enough room to move around once she's bigger? She will, I'll just have to take her out a lot. We're gonna have to do a lot of hikes and um, I love swimming. So maybe she'll wanna come swimming with me and I'd like to, um, I had just, was just saying I wanted to start running again. So yeah, um, she's probably about to wear herself out cause she's been wiggling around here. Can I play? Um, sure, I will play the ukulele. I'm not sure that it's in um, um, sending good vibes and lots of puppy patience. <laughs> Kongs with peanut butter and, and a sweet potato. Yes, I almost got one today. I was looking in Petco and um, and yeah, maybe she needs to pee. I did just take her out, but well, she's, look, she's calmed down guys. I'm not gonna, um, am I not worried about leaving Ruby in the car when it's hot out? Um, I'm not worried about it because I don't plan to leave her in the car when it's hot out. Um, one nice thing about what I do is I have a lot of flexibility. So if it's really hot out, I will just put the errand off or, um, I mean, the, the, the times where I would need to leave her in here is if I'm going to shower or if I'm going to the grocery store and um, I can go in the evening when it's cooler, run into the grocery store and um, the shower as well. I door dash, she can be with me and I can have the AC going. And uh, I did get a puppy. <laughs> and um, 
I can also I travel I don't have one area where I am so I I don't really I don't really want to be in areas where it's really hot in the summer so um, yeah I understand that concern though but I but I mean I live in my car this is this is my home so it's not gonna get it's like in our house I mean our houses don't get really hot when we're living in there because we keep them cool I mean it's where we live so we we adjust the climate um, so that same with this, um, you know, I keep it warm when it's cold out and I keep it cool when it's warm out because I'm, I'm also in here. So I, it's, yeah, it's not like a car that somebody uses just to go from point A to point B. This is also where I live and dwell. So that's going to be some climate control in itself. Um, but yeah. Um, Oh, there can be a big fine for picking. Yeah, well, this is, I keep these, I always do. Um, I have my, the dollar store sells these little bags. So I keep these and then I, um, I have my sweatshirt and I have my sweater and the sweater has two pockets. And then I, so I keep a leash and the poop things, the poop bags. <laughs> and they both came from the dollar store. <laughs> Go dollar store. So um, it makes it easy to, take her out so yeah I'll play the ukulele she just got all excited again <laughs> yeah you did yeah you did um I don't know if it's tuned that's the only thing yeah and you can bring a lot of places are more friendly to having dogs um yeah in in um I love the dollar store too um a lot of places I've noticed, I, I've noticed more dogs in places. So I think that people are beginning to get a lot more sensitive about pets staying in cars and that they're a little more flexible with having your animals come in. Um, so you guys, I don't know, cause she's kind of wound up right now. So she might, um, I don't want her to think this is a toy, but um, hi Edgar, happy Valentine's day to you as well. Um, and I'm not sure it's in tune, but um it's a little out of tune but yeah <laughs> see let me try to tune it this is what i was saying like Love you guys. <laughs>